On Saturday, March 20th, citizens gathered outside the United States Capitol to protest the impending health care bill. Until January 2009, protesters had been reminded time and again that dissent was patriotic. In the age of Obama, however, protest was no longer patriotic. It was now, well, racist. To prove it, a group of black Democrats chose to avoid the tunnel and walk right through the protesters to the Capitol. Equal opportunity in their protest, the citizens booed the black congressmen as lustily as they had booed the white ones. But that was it. As the congressmen made their way to the Capitol, nothing happened. There was no violence, no threats of violence, not even any profanity. If there were any racial slurs, no one seems to have heard them. I didn't hear the slurs, said House Whip James Clyburn, who walked with the group. How could he? Not one of the many videos shot that day recorded any. They did record, however, hundreds of people expressing their dissent against a bill that the majority of Americans deeply opposed. Many, like the man in black shirt and white cap on the left, shouted, Kill the bill! Distracted Congressman Emanuel Cleaver passed right in front of the man and apparently caught some flying spray. Unhappy, Cleaver jabbed his finger in the man's face. That night, all hell broke loose, and the streets erupted in riot and flame. Oh, excuse us. This is recent footage from Berkeley, where left-wing students and union members tried to burn down the house of the school's chancellor. Didn't see that on CNN? Hmm. Much less newsworthy was the protest in front of the Capitol. Except that Congressman Cleaver was still mad about the flying spittle. So he brought a policeman out to find the alleged spitter. Cleaver's office immediately sent out a release saying that the man had been arrested, but that the saintly Cleaver declined to press charges. But it was not true. Said the Capitol Police, there were no elements of a crime, and the individual was not able to be positively identified. The video supports the police. No matter. On the word of Cleaver alone, the McClatchy papers ran with this absurdly false and inflammatory headline that very afternoon. The McClatchy-owned Kansas City Star, Cleaver's hometown paper, would soon add, quote, some Tea Party supporters spat on Cleaver Saturday on Capitol Hill because the U.S. congressman is black. The agitprop was working. Two nights later, after a mindless media firestorm, MSNBC's inimitable Keith Oberman summed up the Democrats' takeaway message. Quote, if racism is not the whole of the Tea Party, it is in its heart. As Nikolai Lenin once coldly noted, a lie told often enough becomes the truth. But that was before the internet. Despite the offer of a $10,000 reward, no one has been able to produce evidence of a single racial slur. Please spread the word and put this lie to bed.